Hello, my wonderful Virgos. This is your October, end of October 2020 love reading. The first part of the video will be for Virgo singles. The second part will be for Virgo couples. And remember, this will not resonate with every single Virgo. There are many Virgos out there in the world. Please know your sun, moon, and rising sign because if this does not resonate with your sun sign, please check out the moon and or rising tarot interpretations to see if they better resonate. Now let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, let me know what my Virgos need to know for the end of October love reading for 2020. That one wanted to fly out. Spirit, let me know what my Virgo singles need to know for the end of October 2020 love reading. Now remember, I tell you what you want to, not what you want to know, but what you need to know. It's Mercury, uh, Mercury, look, <laughs> it's Mercury retrograde, guys. I can't talk right. Mer Mercury retrograde always affects my communication, especially bad, because I am a Gemini, and Mercury does rule Gemini and Virgo, so we get it a lot harder than the other signs. So please forgive the poor communication if it comes through. That one wanted to fly. I'm going to take that. All right, my wonderful Virgo singles. Let's see what's going on here. We have the Page of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles in Reverse, the Magician, Ace of Cups. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading, my Virgo singles. I've been getting the Magician and the Seven of Pentacles in Reverse a lot. <laughs> and I've also been getting this Ace of Cups, but this is the first time in the readings that I had an Ace of Cups in the upright. So my beautiful Virgo singles, it looks like you're very passionate about somebody. You could be passionate about a fire sign. Fire signs are Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. It could be in their moon, sun, or rising, or they could just have a lot of fire-like qualities. Now, it seems to me that we got to get this going and going very quickly, my dear Virgos, because the Seven of Pentacles shows someone who's impatient, waiting for their fruit to grow so they can harvest it. But see, this is showing that we're running out of time here. We got to hurry up and harvest this fruit. Otherwise, it's going to be no good. So right now, Virgo, we're working on manifesting this relationship that you want. And let me tell you right now, it's going to lead to true and honest love my dear Virgos. So I'm going to go ahead and clarify the magician and clarify the Ace of Cups, okay? It's already looking, I mean, it's not already looking good. This is a very good reading, my Virgo singles. And trust me, the first few readings I've done, Spirit was giving those people some tough love. But my Virgo singles, you are looking good. Looking very, very good. Yep, that one wanted to fly out. right here. Spirit wants this card. This card is the one that's popping up. So let's get that. This is the reverse. Oh, yep. It's the reverse. All right. Perfect. Knight of Cups, Knight of Swords, both in reverse. Here we go. All right. All right, my dear. So you are manifesting love. You're coming in. You're offering love right here. And you're offering it to a knight of swords. So you also could also be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. They're coming in fast and furious here. You guys are facing each other. You're upside down, but you're facing the individual feeling towards some passionate loved ones. So depending on how the cards are facing when I do the placements, they're all facing towards the page of wands. So this is actually me saying that you are manifesting the love here. You are manifesting this love. You're offering your cup to somebody, to this knight of swords. They're taking in, they're going for it. They're taking what you have to offer, Virgo. Now, remember, the energies could be interchangeable. This could be them offering you a cup and you're taking it in. You're taking all of that. And wow, Virgo singles, this is such a beautiful reading. I am so happy. You have no idea how happy I am right now because I've been given a lot of tough love messages here. I'm so excited. You just made my day, Virgos. Virgo singles, congratulations. I'm so happy for you that you're going to be into a wonderful relationship full of love, 
full of love. So, so happy for you, Virgos. All right, now we're going to move on to my Virgo couples. Virgo couples means committed relationship or marriage. A lot of people think it has to do with just marriage. No, it also has to do with committed relationships. Now, if you guys are liking my videos, please like, share, and subscribe. That helps support my work. It supports the channel. And you can also support my channel by making a donation to one of the links below. I have a Venmo, a PayPal, and a Cash App. But liking, sharing, and subscribing is also a lot of love and support. So let's go ahead and move on to my Virgo couples. Virgo couples. Spirit, what do my Virgo couples need to know for the end of October 2020 love reading? Oop. Spirit wants me to stop right there, so I'll pull that card. Spirit, what does my Virgo couples need to know at the end of October 2020 reading for love? see what we have here the emperor reversed king of pentacles eight of wands reversed and the tower are we going through some tough times my virgo couples the emperor um, if you want me to mention zodiac signs, I will. Um, the emperor is represented by Aries in the in astrology, but I don't think that's what it's signifying. However, you could be dealing with an Aries. When an emperor is reversed, the emperor is a tyrant. He is someone who wants his way and is not willing to listen to reason. When he's upright, he's a wise leader and he's a great person to be around, but he's reversed. So it looks like someone in a relationship is thinking of the it's my way or the highway, and this is how it's going to be. The King of Pentacles. Pentacles are Earth. That's a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this could be you, my dear Virgo. It seems like you're upright. Something is slowly but surely coming. When the Eight of Wands is upright, it's something fast and approaching. But this, whatever problem or issue that's going on between you two... It's slowly but steadily creeping to the surface. And it's going to come crashing down very soon. This is a rocky foundation. Something's going on here. So let's get some clarity with this tower. Let's get some clarity with these eight of wands in reverse. All right. Spirit, please clarify the eight of wands in reverse. Please clarify the eight of wands in reverse. Oh, wants me to stop right there. Just had me stop at this card. I'm going to do that. Spirit, please clarify the tower for me. Spirit, please clarify the tower for me. Oh, that one's sticking out. Take that. All right. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I was really thinking in my head before I flipped this card over. I swear in my life, I was thinking there's a lot of fighting going on. There's a lot of fighting going on between you and your partner. And something tells me it has to do with intimacy and passion. And, and let's just be, I know you guys are proper and you guys are very appropriate Virgos, but I'm just going to say it. It's about sex. And there's nothing wrong with the word sex, by the way. Um... There's lack of sex here. Why? Why is there lack of passion? When people are fighting, when people are arguing, behind that argument is passion. So why is the passion not being used here? Why? Now, I don't sugarcoat things, Virgo. I, I don't. And I did it for the Gemini video, and Spirit got very, very mad at me and told me to knock it off. And you'll see that in the video if you ever watch it. But So I'm not going to sugarcoat it, Virgo. Normally, I can, I'll can tell you that the energies are interchangeable. But I really think it's you withholding the sex. I really think it's you. Because look at you. You got the power. You're upright. You're like, man, I got, man, I got this. I got this. And your partner over here is frustrated. Is really, really frustrated that they've become unlivable. You can't bear to live with them. You can't stand them. 
but you guys are fighting all the time. Fighting all the time. So, Virgo, what's going on? What's going on with this? Why are we... Why is there no passion here? I'm going to clarify this. Where did the sex drive go? Where did the sex drive go? I'm going to do one more, okay? Dang. Oops. It came out reversed, but I want to show you the upright. This is a beautiful child. On the horse, naked, couldn't have any carefrees, has nothing to worry about, not at all. Out the sun is shining, the flowers are blooming. But something's making you feel like your world's upside down. Something's taking away your light. This is reverse. All right, upright, it means someone's left out in the cold. In reverse, it means the same thing, except... It's nothing, someone, someone's given this partner a silent treatment. I think you, Virgo, are giving your partner the silent treatment. And it's messing with them. It's messing with them. I don't know what it is. Now, this could be interchangeable energy, but I'm telling you right now, Spirit's telling me it's you doing this, Virgo. I don't know why it, Spirit is telling me it's you, the one who's withholding the sex. It's, with, it's the one, you're the one doing the silent treatment. And you guys are fighting all the time. But what's the reason? Why? It's like every time I'm trying to find out the reasoning behind it, but every time I try to go for the cards, it gives me a more justification or reason as to it's just confirming that the sex is being withheld. I'm going to pull out one more card. And if it does not clarify for me, Virgo, that just means spirit doesn't want me to go into it deeper. Okay? So hopefully we can figure out why. Why? Are we withholding the affection? Why are we withholding the intimacy? All right. Clarified everything for me. You're juggling too much, Virgo. You are juggling too much. Even though you feel like you got it all together, you feel like your mind is right, you're working too hard. You're balancing your job, your your marriage or your relationship. You're probably balancing some kids. You're trying you're working hard to maintain that balance, but because of all that, you have no time. You have no time for this. You have no time for this with your partner and your partner is suffering, Virgo. Big time. They're suffering and you're arguing about it. You're constantly fighting about it, but but you're upright, so you really feel like there's nothing to argue about. You don't feel like it's a big deal, but it is a big deal, Virgo. It's a extreme big deal. This tower is going to come crashing down here. There's nothing wrong with wanting a successful job. There's nothing wrong with wanting a successful career, but when you get into a committed relationship, you have to work that in because your, your partner's not feeling like a priority. Now... Like I said, I really feel like this is you, Virgo. But it could be you're the emperor with your Virgo sun, moon, or rising, depending on the placements. But spirit is really, really telling me it's a Virgo doing this. And um, yeah, and I don't, I don't try to mess with, with spirit because spirit really got mad at me in the Gemini reading when I was trying to sugarcoat it. So I'm not going to do that no more. So um, yeah, Virgo... Um, I think the message was make time for your loved one, make time for your partner because they're not feeling the love right now. And a lot of people think that sex and love are not the same thing. No, it is. You know, when you're in a committed relationship, sex becomes a way of showing love and affection. 
that's where that becomes once you're in a commitment. So let's work on that, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, if this did not resonate with you, this was not your message. Again, it's your girl, Jilly. I love you guys so much. Namaste.